Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. Even for a lot of people who aren't familiar with that, I can't name the catchphrase alone may bring to memories of that character. The Shadow, like many characters during the 90s, had a, had a revival, along uh, having movies along with Batman and Dick Tracy, among other comic book characters brought to the silver screen in that era. But that wasn't the first time The Shadow was brought to the silver screen. Actually, The Shadow had had multiple movie incarnations. If everything is added together, The Shadow has appeared on the big screen four times. Two motion pictures, done by RKO Studios. One movie serial I have actually yet to see. And then later in the 90s movie. I'm sure you're all wondering where I'm going with this. Well, if you've seen the, the title of the video, we are talking about The Shadow Strikes, Scourge of the Underworld. From 1937, black and white, running time around 61 minutes. Coming to the silver screen, straight from your radios. Uh, let's do the voice. Coming to the silver screen, straight from your radios, is the Shadow, Scourge of the Underworld. With his amazing ability to cloud men's minds, thus appearing as nothing but a shadow to an ordinary man, Lamont Cranston, appears the man about town bachelor leading a care for your life. But when evil rears its ugly head, he assumes the mantle of the shadow to foil the plans of criminals wherever he finds them. In this case, the shadow must solve the murder of the wealthy gentleman who had just been who had just summoned the, his attorney in order to change his will, but is murdered before he is able to do so. The long list of suspects from heirs to mobsters is present. The shadow challenge must with challenge is cha sh the shadow with a challenge in finding whoever is responsible for the murder, starring Road Le Carrick. I may have pronounced that wrong. Alright, let's um get a few things straight here. First of all, though one mentioned the shadow having his powers in the movie, he never actually has those powers. He pretty much just wears a fedora, a cape, and does this. He's just holding a gun. Um the name Cranston isn't mentioned until about the end of the movie. Um, he spends a good chunk of the movie actually playing, um, assuming the identity of the lawyer, which is how the shadow's on the scene at the time. I'm trying to go through this and not spoil some things for you, but yeah, if you're expecting the shadow power, this is an RKL movie, so this is pretty low budget. So there is no invisibility or befogging men's minds or mental powers in this one. This is basically the shadow as if he was Batman, more or less. Before Batman, I guess. He has a cape, a hat, a gun. And then, of course, like Batman, he has a loyal chauffeur. Who I don't think appears in the second movie. Um, it's an enjoyable movie. Um, I take it what it is. Um, it's, like I said, it's a cheap version, but shadow does not possess his actual po his powers that he's supposed to have. Um, but it is a pretty good movie for a B, for a B movie. Um, if you're a fan of the Shadow, then you would definitely check this out. Um, but don't be surprised. It's, um, I believe all three of the theat. Well, like I said, I haven't seen the sh the uh, movie serial, so. But I know that all three of the theatrical versions are different. So the Shadow who strikes. Um, Shadow into, uh, interna uh, International, I think, is the, the second one, and then the 90s Shadow, which are all uh, full-length movies. Like I said, the movie serial, I haven't seen yet, so I don't know if they gave him his powers in that or not. Um, but uh, it was enjoyable. Not the best movie I've ever seen of the Shadow. I'd give this probably um, four, no, three and a half out of five it was okay and if you enjoy B movies and are curious about seeing the shadows cinematic origins then I would recommend checking this out but remember um I think I should explain this the shadows always going to be different the books are different than the radio show and the movie is different than both of those I honestly think the closest adaptation we a straight, a straight up adaptation we had was the 90s version of the movie 
it seems to take a good amount of stuff from the actual source material. So anyways, that was my review of The Shadow Strikes. Um, if you guys want me to do the sequel, which I think is, I guess it's called The Shadow International. I'm not sure if it's a sequel or just a standalone movie with The Shadow. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, let's get this video up to about uh, 12 likes, and I'll look into doing that one. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? The Shadow knows. Remember, the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. The Shadow knows. <laughs>